So this is the 10th year of Thriller Fest, and you've been with them with ITW since the beginning. I have been at every ITW since the beginning, yeah. First one was at the Biltmore in Arizona. Arizona. And yeah, it was very hot. <laughs> but it's, I mean, I'm from Florida, so I'm good at hot. And um, it was the first year was quite wonderful. We were all there and uh, really not too many other places to go because we were pretty much so surrounded by desert. Right. Um, but it, it was actually very wonderful because everybody met everybody. Everybody spent time with uh, everyone else. And uh, it was great. Oh. But it's great in New York, too, because... Um, greatest city yes. <laughs> in the world um, publishing. yeah as far as publishing goes definitely it's the most amazing city and it's just an amazing city it's New York yeah. um, and it's I just think that it was so well conceived so well put together mm. um, it's such a great mentoring group um, because of ITW I've gotten to go on one of their USO tours and oh, wow. Yeah, I've That's been to really Walter cool. Reed to see our soldiers and uh, probably influenced me more than uh, anything other than the birth of my children. Uh, I, should, I should definitely say that was a huge influence, but there was nothing like it. I'm um, super grateful for that and uh, gotten to be in a number of the anthologies and really have a wonderful time doing that. And uh, they just, they've been so... Um, just, just wonderful in the way they've moved things. We spend a day at the FBI, we've spent a day at the CIA. So many offerings for people who are really uh, working on thrillers, love thrillers, right. into thrillers, yeah. That's really cool because I don't think other genres have that. Um, do, I think that, well, I, belong, <laughs> I do belong to everything, HWA, RWA, Sisters in Crime, like a, a number of organizations. And many of them are absolutely wonderful too, and they, they do offer things, but I can't think of anything that's been around for 10 years that has yeah. come up with the amazing opportunities for authors the way that uh, Thriller Writers has. Yeah, yeah, it's been, because this is our third year here, and um, yeah, it's just really, it's always just a great event for us. Yeah, and it's a just. Lot of authors. So many wonderful people, um, and I do I do a, a small benefit conference every year uh, down in New Orleans. I have since the storm, you know, oh, just to nice. put money back in New Orleans. And uh, mm -hmm. my friends from here have been so supportive. Um, ITW has helped me with that. I mean, just oh, just all nice. kinds of things. So yeah. That's great. Well, shifting gears a little bit, I know you have a new book out. The new book is actually that's out right now is called The Cursed, and it's followed by. The Hexed and The Betrayed uh, this summer. They'll all be out this summer and fall. And they're in the Crew of Hunter series, mm, okay. which has been out a few years now, which is kind of like Criminal Minds meets Supernatural. Oh, very cool. <laughs> it's fun. I have a good time. And how, because you, you always have something out. How, so how many days of the week do you have to write to just produce the amount that you do? It's not so much. It really isn't a matter of the days. Um, I started when I have five children. I think I started when three of them uh, had been born, and I just always worked around whatever was going on. Oh, and nice. it's kind of uh, they really did way more for me than I would have ever imagined by being little children, <laughs> because um, I can I, I always feel like a Dr. Seuss book. Like I can write in a plane. I can write on a plane going far on a star. <laughs> you know, what I mean, like you just you get used to working uh, wherever you are. Right, so I don't right. I don't. It's not. I, I don't. I don't go by number of days. I kind of know when something must have, you know, must be done, must be turned in, and then I get desperate <laughs> and just sit there and do it. You know, when you have a deadline. Right. And do you have any advice for aspiring authors? Uh, I think one thing we uh, we did a workshop this morning where we had a hands-on, and everybody in the workshop was supposed to be writing. And I think one of the most important things you can do is actually just do it. You know, I mean, really sit down and work. Uh, when you can go to conferences, that's great because there's nothing better than, there's still, even in this information age, there's still nothing like looking at people, sitting down with them, uh, having coffee, a drink, whatever it is, you know, to the person to person networking is still amazing. So that's something good to do. And then uh, the one thing I know in common between everyone, whether they were doctors, lawyers, um, theater majors, whatever, <laughs> uh, we came from, everybody was an avid, avid reader. So I say, you know, remember to keep reading what it is that you loved that made you want to write and then just really sit down and do it. Yeah.
That's really good That's advice. The hard part. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. is the hard part. It is, and keeping yeah. that energy up yeah. while you're doing it, and write what you love. You know, love what you write, and write what you love. So, mm-hmm. it's uh, it's kind of like you know, a circular thing, but it but it really is true. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks so much for Thank talking you. to us. Thank you guys so much.